Alan Hicks is an Australian musician and documentary maker. His most recent film, Quincy, gives viewers an insight into the life and persona that is Quincy Jones. We're here in Melbourne and I'm about to catch up with him. I would like to have you meet one of the finest musicians that I've ever known, Mr. Quincy Jones. Pressure's on, Quincy's here. Music was the one thing that offered me my freedom. It was coming off the back of my first feature, which is a film called Keep On Keeping On. And Quincy Jones was a student of the main character of that movie, whose name was Clark Terry. And I was also a student of Clark Terry, so Quincy and I had this common bond. That was my first movie, and I didn't go to film school, so I didn't really have a jumping off point in the film world. But because I played in Clark Terry's band, and he was my teacher for years the one thing he really taught me was how to put together a band and how important it is to have the right personalities around you uh, that are the best musicians that you can find and those musicians will make you sound better and make the group sound better a, a big focus coming into keep on keeping on was to put together a really good team and you know that's something that i definitely carried with me through to quincy because your team is so, so important. Um, I met his daughter, Rashida, and she was trying to do a piece on her dad, and she just asked me if I would come and co-direct it with her. He has having chest pain and shortness of breath. If you don't feel good, you gotta take care of it. I will, I will. I'm a survivor. My whole life is from the south side of Chicago. In the 30s, man, and during the Depression, I wanted to be a gangster till I was 11. You want to be what you see, and that's all we ever saw. He's such a huge subject um, that it, it's one of those films where you really do need a partner. We kind of complemented each other, and we had a similar artistic vision for the film. We had the access to him, and, um, and Rashida would constantly say, people know about my dad's body of work, but they don't know him as a person. The, what's unique about the Quincy documentary is Quincy himself how inclusive he is of people. And once we had come on to, to do the film, he just started saying, hey, he would call me up and say, hey, we're going to China tomorrow. You, got, you guys should come, you'd love it. When we were shooting Quincy, um, we decided we were gonna shoot long form Verite and we didn't know what kind of archival was really out there when we first began that process. Once we started digging, it was more evident of like, oh, this is going to be a huge component to this movie. But he had an archive in his home and he has a vault with um, just the most amazing things you've ever seen. So uh, that took about a year and a half of sifting through before we got to the edit. Learning to uh, play an instrument, I feel like is so similar to making a film. You, you, there's a lot of repetition, there's a lot of patience. You need to critique yourself without getting down on yourself. For me, I feel like it uses a similar part of my brain th that was honed in from learning how to practice an instrument. Um, of that patience of sitting with the edit and really working on it day to day. And um, sometimes there's some scenes in Quincy that we worked on for a year and a half. 